Hey y'all, good news here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Penguin from, uh, from DC Comics, specifically the Batman 1960 TV show, but whatever, let's just get right into the review, starting with, of course, the head, so, as you can see, um, his hair is kind of simplistic, it isn't really cool hair, but it's accurate to the TV show. In the TV show, is like not slicked back hair. He kind of does. But his hair is like slicked back, and it looks really cool. And you can see that his hair, this Funko Pop's hair, is all the way down and doesn't puff up at all. But it looks really cool. And of course, it's got all these lines molded in, running down to make it look like hair. And it does look like hair. Well, I mean, it looks like stylized hair, but it still looks like hair thanks to all these molded in lines. It looks really good. The hairline on the back isn't the greatest hairline I've ever seen. But it's not terrible. Um, the face also has a bit of bad hairlining. Over there. Right there. I'm not sure if that's like every single one. This is the only one I saw in the store. So, yeah. Um, so hopefully, the other ones are better, but I don't, I don't know. Usually with Funko Pops, the hairlines are usually all pretty, pretty similar. With different Funko Pops. In the, the, of the same one, if that makes any sense. So, um, his face is a lot more unique than most humans. Because he's got his big old nose, and it's a lot bigger than a normal Funko Pop nose. Like, maybe twice as big. He's got his angry eyebrows, and, of course, he's got his monocle. Now, his monocle looks alright. It doesn't look great because of the way they glued it on there. It doesn't look fantastic. It's kind of weird and it's got like a thick layer of plastic. So it's kind of all fogged up. So it looks like he's just breathing on it. Which is kind of weird. I kind of wish that was done better, more clear. It still looks cool. It's a nice detail. Uh, the Gold is well painted, it doesn't bleed onto his face. I think it was actually painted separately and then glued on. Which is nice, it also doesn't bleed onto the clear. Which is, you know, good. Um, his little hat. He's like, hanging out on the side of his head. And that he's just being plain and simple on the top of his head. So it gives him a bit more detail and character. It looks way cooler like this. Uh, his grim and his the only top hat are the same color, um, that little, he's got a little bit of a dark purple like thing going around, band I guess you call it, looks really good, his hat's pretty huge, it's probably the same size as a normal pop head, on top of his pop head, so he's a bit taller than a normal Funko Pop, if you're measuring his head, and with his hat on, it looks good, looks really cool, and he's jaunted forward as well in case you're wondering, See the brim underneath. It's really good. His head looks really neat. Now his body is a bit more, I don't know, generic. Because he's just, the penguin is just a man in a suit, right? And so, he's fatter, though, than most of the pups, which I do enjoy. Look, look, look right there. Nice and fat. Uh, his suit has really nice details. It's got little. If you look on this side, it's got a button, and if you look on this side, it's got a hole for the button. Nice detail there, Funko. That's, uh, that's okay with me. It's got Funko, uh, not Funko, but, uh, buttons on his undershirt. I should sure it's got, like, molded in lines to make it look more like that kind of fancy undershirt he wears in the show. He's got his nice and purple, uh, bow tie. Kind of like Newt's Commander, it's not fantastically well painted, but it's hard to see, so like whatever. Um, his hands look all good. I mean, this hand doesn't look that well, because it's got like the paint goes into the hand, making it look like he's just like doing this, even though he's got uh, thumbs out like this, so there should be a hole there. If you look, there isn't, so it looks kind of funky. Um, he, oh, I don't, I don't know if that's a paint wall or the sleeves drawing out. 
Well, I think that's just painful. I think the glove accidentally glued onto the, the sleeve, which isn't fantastic. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, that could be his in inner shirt coming out of his upper shirt. Actually, in that case, that's a good detail. It looks nice, though. Well, e even if it's that, it doesn't look that nice, honestly. It looks kind of weird. And then he's got these little lines on his uh, hands, which are just like molded on there. They're hard to see on camera, but they're there. Trust me. Yeah, you can see them. Then he's got his umbrella, and. Uh, the umbrella is really cool, it's like folded up like a real umbrella, it looks like a tiny little umbrella. The tip of the umbrella is nice and shiny, and if you, uh, I've never actually seen the TV show. I got it because it was on sale, and it looked cool. But, you know, I don't know, in, in the comics anyway, you can shoot uh, bullets out of his umbrella, like a gun. This looks like an umbrella. I don't know if you can do that in the TV show. Still looks good. It's got this brim. Uh, going around, looks like real. I like a real looking brother like I said before. And it's umbrella end is like trailing around his hand. It's really cool. Once again, it's kind of weird that they're. that you can't see the umbrella in his hand. And instead, you should be able to see a little bit of it. So it looks a little funky. But that's fine. He's, um, if you couldn't tell already, his suit is very glossy, so there's his pants, his pants are very detailed, look nice, and his shoes are just white with black, um, if you look closely at the up shoes, he's got like, fancy laces basically on them, but not a lot of detail with his legs, on his back, he's got a little tail coat, looks nice, he's got buttons running down, and the seams, and, yeah, and the tailcoat looks nice, and then the seam going all the way up, because, you know, that's what it's supposed to look like, it's supposed to look like a tailcoat from the TV show. All in all, if you like DC, and you like the Penguin, and you like Batman, you're probably going to like this one as well. If I had to give him a, uh, a rating, out of scale of 1 to 10, probably a... Hmm. 8.7 because like Newt he's a little bit more unique than Newt's commander and he's a little bit more colorful and he looks pretty good so yeah I'm gonna put on the show um uh, drop a like if you haven't already um subscribe uh comment down below what Funk Pop you want to see me review next, and if you're the first to comment, I will uh, give you a shout out. If you're the first to comment, what Funk Pop I should review next specifically. Go out and show all my old videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.